I think the most important thing is to um, not think of the current very adverse environment as being a setback. I think if you start with a um, sort of a down the mouth attitude, it's, it's going to be it'll be difficult for you to um, find a, a really positive solution to this uh, environment we're in. Think of this as a great opportunity. In fact, when I talk to companies that uh, we're investing in or um, talk to fellow investors, the world is t totally turned upside down, and um, the Asians we were saying earlier have a a uh, axiom that um, crisis uh, leads to opportunities. And when there is so much change, not only in the value set of companies, and you're seeing that every day as CEOs talk about, we've got to make a change. The world cannot go on like this. The divisions that we see, the uh, inequities, the uh, hostilities between countries, this cannot stand. So things are going to change. And this is a very exciting time for young people, and even old people like us, to look for where the, the, the future trends will be. Um, I see most of you are in investments right now, and I think that's a great area to be because investors always look for change and try to get in front of it, and that's where the opportunity comes. So if you are looking for uh, internships, uh, volunteer work, jobs later on, look for companies that one, have the value sets you have, because increasingly, uh, I hope we are going to be a uh, society that is more focused on values. And um, as a young person looking for a company that you would like to work with, make sure you understand what their values are, because then you can align yourself with them and um, throw yourself in body and soul. It's very hard to, we all like to work hard, I think, all my life. I've, I've never ever um, felt I dragged my feet because I love my work. But you cannot love your work if you're working for a company with a different set of values. So look for the value set. Look for, I think, um, in a very opportunistic world with changes, I think the active investor is going to be rewarded. I have many friends who are great quants and, and they do passive investing, and that's fine. But my career has always been built on active investing. Um, and I think... Uh, with, with the opportunities, um, setting up winners and losers, long short up, uh, strategies are good. Um, I know that um, there are some of you who are long investors only. That's fine too. In a selective portfolio, looking for the great winners that come out of this, this um, crisis is going to be a lot of fun and very rewarding.